Hello everyone, welcome you all to our today's live group session. Uh, the topic is overview and report generation of daily progress notes. Um, um, within a while we will start our live group session. Uh, let's wait for some moment for other users to join or other attendees to join our today's live group session. In the meantime, I will uh, explain uh, what is a live group session. So, Basically, a live group session is an online session uh, where we, as startup experts, share our screen and uh, try to explain the modules or features of startup software. And um, startup users and potential users uh, join the online session um, by registering to the registration link. And um, uh, attendees I can discuss with the startup expert about the features or modules of startup. Uh, they can also ask questions, and the startup experts. Uh, tries to answer those questions in a live group session. So there is basically a live group session is all about. And um, as our today's topic is uh, overview and report generation of daily progress notes, um, um, the module I will show you today is TLOG, where we you guys can uh, track daily progress notes through our setup um, TLOG module. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna show you that within a while, and. Now I will uh, share my screen so that I can start now. Okay, I hope you guys can see my screen. And um, so there is, uh, I'm in my our uh, global website. Um, I will show you um, how you can uh, go to our website. Just go to your browser and in address bar, just type www. global. net. So this is our website address. So mm -hmm. this is our Tera uh, Global website. Here you can uh, learn um, much more things about our our Tera software, what our features Tera software features are, and what we provide. So the first thing you will uh, do is <coughs> to log into Tera Global. You see the link here. Is log into Tera Global. If you have user account, you can log into our software. So to log into our Tera software, you you will click on to log into Therap Global. So here is the login page. Um, so I uh, will um, give my login credentials here. And I am uh, logging from my demo account. So um, I will now click on the login button after um, as I have given my all credentials here. I'll click on login. So after clicking on login button, you will uh, see dashboard. That is our Therap software dashboard. Uh, you can call this as home page. So there are uh, tabs there. Uh, if you have um, joined our previous live sessions, you may have already know about uh, what uh, what we call tabs in our Therap software. What are the features? Some other features of uh, Therap and what are the sections? So as I have already um, told you that we'll um, I into this live group session. I'll show you one of our third most used module that is called TLOG module. So to do progress notes or keep uh, track of daily progress notes, you will uh, go to TLOG uh, from individual tabs. These are called tabs. <coughs> These are called tabs in the left side of your home page to do individual health agency admin agency reports individual home page these are called tabs so to do t log you will click on individual tab okay so after clicking on individual tab you will see a section named care this is care section so under care section and you will see t log isp data isp program so these are some of the therapy modules isp t log um, so uh, so you will to create a new key log um, you will click on new link so after um, coming here to create a new key log you will click on new link and now clicking on new link so yeah so after clicking on new link another page will come which is select program for key log so if you have an idea about what is programs I, I think you have or you can um, watch our recorded live group sessions in our website so to do a t-log you uh, you will have to 
a selected program first in that program which individual is in uh, so first you have to select a program so these are my demo program uh, we have some demo programs in our demo account so I'm now selecting one of uh, the programs uh, let's select a day shift program so after clicking on the program here are the individuals who are enrolled in individual list were enrolled in uh, demo shift uh, day shift program so you will see on the individual uh, list who are enrolled in that specific program after clicking on that program so um, now I, I will select one of the individual uh, for whom I will create key log now so I will create a key log for let's say for uh, Nilay Chaudhary now I will click on that uh, individual's name So this is basically a keylog page where you will uh, do keylog. After clicking on that individual's name, you will see that page. So here you see some of the fields there. So um, first you will see um, the name of the individual that is Nilay Chaudhary from my case. And the program name is there, the shift. And uh, now there are some fields there. Uh, the first one is type. So the type is basically uh, um, the type of keylog you will do based on that um, you will have to select a type first so there are some built-in types here uh, like help, notes, follow-up, behavior, contacts, general um, you see the red asterisk um, uh, red asterisk here so that means you will have to um, select those fields where there is asterisk field like here, here asterisk field is in asterisk is in type and that in, then in summary so you have to fill up those fields um, to not get any error so first you have to select type so here are some of the types based on the keylog you will select a type uh, maybe uh, help when you will uh, create keylog uh, where um, it is about health information or medical related um, keylog of that individual you can uh, select health type or if you think no it's not related to health you will just take a note of uh, today's, today's um, um, daily summary of how what the individuals ha had done in class so you can select notes or if you want to follow up on another keylog or follow up on another topic of that specific individual you can click on follow up or to follow up with the same summary or same topic in, the, in later on so you can select on follow up then uh, if you want to do a keylog about the behavioral um, um, about the behavior of that individual you can select behavior type and if you want to keep uh, contact information of the individual or uh, you have to, uh, you want to do a keylog um, including the contacts of the individual maybe his parents contact or you contacted with um, uh, the individual's parents or doctor you can create a keylog by, by selecting the type contacts and you can write your description um, later on and you can also select a general type if it doesn't match with other um, types you can select general and um, you can also select multiple types if you want uh, let's select for now. I'm going to select notes to show you how you can uh, proceed on. So, and then um, notification level. If you click on low, you'll see there are in drop down menu there are three notification levels here low, medium, and high. So, it's basically if you um, it's based on your child log. Um, the notification level you'll select. Um, uh, the other users who has account in your uh, provider, uh, their provider, so they will also see the keylogs you have done. So, um, uh, if you uh, give a notification level low, uh, there are certain amount of time uh, based on the that uh, the no notification level, it will uh, show up on the other user's uh, account in 2D tab. So, uh, it's just, um, it's basically the level of the uh, key log um, what can impact on other users uh, so that they can take care of <coughs> that individual uh, we can uh, based on the uh, the description uh, you'll write on the key log so 
um, if you select low that means it's not a um, high um, it means a um, low level um, T log so other teachers don't have to care that much but if you um, give notification level high so that means other teachers has to care about the T log and they have to look after that T log and care those and that individual for whom uh, the T log was created so I'm selecting medium for now and then the summary you see there is red asterisk in summary field so that means you have to fill up the summary field too so uh, in summaries uh, like um, you have to give um, two or three words for the specific that specific field of it might be heading uh, which um, you can address later on the description field so as an example if you um, uh, select a type behavior you can summary your summary may be behavior then you can in the description field you can go on and describe the behavioral things of that individual or if you type health you can give a uh, if you select type health type you can give a summary hospital or medical or doctor or uh, health related really issues like fever and then you can uh, go on to description and uh, write the descriptive thing of that health related issue so uh, so um, try to uh, give a short summary or what you can describe later on in this description box so for now I can uh, write uh, maybe for example I will write drawing uh, maybe Nilo Chudri had drew, um, drew a beautiful picture today so I want to keep a note of that so I will um, give drawing as a summary for now so I will move on to description field in description field um, you give the description of the t-log okay the main thing is um, you can write here about one and uh, ten thousand characters so you can write so many things here about the t-log specific t-log so um, in description field you'll write um, explain the t-log so maybe i will write nilo drew a nice picture today in drawing class so there was a drawing class and Milo drew a nice picture uh, today in his drawing class okay so just for now I'm writing on only one sentence you can go on and write whatever you want to write for that specific log in the description field so I wrote Milo Dewey to be a nice picture today in his drawing class so this is the basic of the description and um, in report or uh, field you can um, if any other user informs you about this log and tells you to do a log on behalf of him you can just type his name if he uh, if he has account in his in this provider like right? uh, one of the teacher has come to you and told, telling you to uh, Nilo has drew a nice picture into his drawing class is great log for that so you will um, give reporter name as the user name the user who has informed you uh, maybe um, so Alamin uh, maybe Alamin can be the teacher he has informed me to do the T log. So I will um, give reporter name uh, Alamin Khan. And if you uh, if you, uh, if you are doing T log and you are in the class, uh, you want to do T log by yourself. No one has informed you, so you can you don't have to um, add reporter name here because you are doing T log. So this uh, T log will be automatically entered by you. So your you as a teacher or user, your name will be there that you have done this T log. So if any other teacher informs you to do the log, you can um, add his, his or her name in reporter field. So when he's reporting you, you can um, give um, the date or time to report it on um, option. Uh, to give a date, you'll click on the calendar beside the calendar box. So you click on the calendar box and give the date. Maybe he has informed me uh, 23rd of October uh, around... Um, 11 m so you can uh, change the date change the time by clicking on the clock and click on the calendar so i am giving the date and time here so yeah so next field is attachment section 
this data transfer section so if you want to add any document here you can add if you have a scanning file scanned file in your laptop or computer or in mobile so you can go ahead and add that file maybe uh, suppose you have a prescription of um, so, uh, you want to do t log um, uh, for an, an individual who had admitted to a doctor and the doc doctor has prescribed him um, so you want to attach that you, and you have that prescription um, so you can attach that prescription here and uh, write a t-log about that um, ed, um, doctor's appointment in t-log summary or description so in that case you can add a file if you have that in your computer or laptop uh, so you can add that file here and if you want to add any image, any photo, so you can go ahead and also add and add that image to this specific keylog. So um, in my case, I want to add a image um, so that I can show you how to add that. So I'll click on add image and I will try to find out the folder where I had, um, had that uh, photo. Maybe this one, I uh, want to add this one and this, this is um, drawn by Nilo um, Chaudhary so I want to edit so you can take a picture of that painting and uh, show your mobile and uh, you can add it to them and that specific key log maybe Nilo had you know do this this picture and so I took that picture and um, I kept in a folder and I want to uh, I wanted to do a key log and attach that picture to uh, that specific key log so this is the picture uh, uh, that Nilo to today's in today's drawing class okay so yeah so after submitting all the information uh, if you think uh, you don't have to write anything else so then you can go on and submit this to log okay so I will click on submit button so you see uh, the form and the key log and uh, there is a auto generated form ID so has been successfully submitted that means uh, the key log is created so if you want to see the key log uh, now you can click on back to form so this is the basically key log um, I just did uh, you know do a nice picture to the image during class and this is the picture I attached to this specific key log so this is uh, how you can um, you can uh, do a key log in Kerf, um, software which might help for you to do keep notes, um, keep notes the individuals have, is doing today's uh, in every day's class. So, so if you want to uh, search the keylog you just did or you, had, you did it two days ago, three days ago, or last month, how will you uh, find it? So I will sh now show you how you can search um, the previous key log. So um, for creating a new key log, you cre cre click on new link. But for searching, you can search, um, you will click on search. That is this new link. So you will go on and click on search button link. So this is the search criteria page. So there are many fields here. You can search. Uh, there, are, there are many criteria here for searching. So I will... Um, Try to narrow down the search. So I'll click on. I'll fill up only the individual field because I know for whom I did the T-log. So I did the T-log for Nila. So I just uh, type Nila and it's automatically showing up Nila's name, Nila Chaudhary's name here. So yeah. So I'm clicking on his name and I want to see the T-log done for him for the, this month and for October 1st uh, till today's date, today's 25. So I want to see all the T-logs done for him in from 1st of October and uh, till today's date. So yeah, I will go on and click on the search button. If you want to um, enter any other fields here, you can go on. But uh, for now, I will... Um, just giving his name and that date, the date range I want to see the T-Logs for. So I will go in and click on the search button. So yeah, so the, these are the T-Logs done for um, uh, Nilo Chaudhary and this month. So 
here uh, drawing summary the log uh, I just did a while ago uh, I'll click on that and this is the log uh, you can find out the log by searching uh, maybe it was done uh, one month ago or um, one week ago you can easily search by clicking on search link and uh, by typing that individual's name you can also um, okay so now um, you can also uh, click on PDF uh, link here is the PDF link you can also download that um, this um, tlog if you want to print out this tlog you can click on PDF link uh, it will be automatically download downloaded to your computer or software um, or laptop okay now I will show you um, how to okay miss said that there are I if you have any question okay so you have uh, Miss said that there from Angusker Foundation uh, she had asked one of the question here sometimes our question is um, sometime our data did not take care of software on time or present day so what can I do please help us so one thing uh, you have to remember when you enter a key log when you give a date please do not give any feature date okay uh, like uh, now is 12 th uh, 38 so if you are doing a key log and when you select the date uh, or reported on date so don't give any feature date if you type 12 39 you you and the system will show error um that system will show error that this is the and this is a feature time you're giving but don't give any feature date uh, uh if you're doing a t-log um is to give um earlier date than the moment you're doing t-log okay. the, the date will be taken but the time do remember the time uh the t-log you're doing to remember the time that you're not giving any feature time maybe automatically our system shows the date of uh, that specific date you are doing key log so uh, but um, don't uh, but just check that you are giving correct time on that specific date do not give any feature time i hope you want um, you i can i could answer your question uh, if you have any more question you can ask i'll try to answer your question okay now uh, i'll move on to how you can generate a report from Keylog. Um, so I will click on dashboard again. Um, earlier I said that uh, these are called tabs to do individual health agency admin. Uh, to do uh, to generate Keylog uh, report, uh, you'll have to click on agency report. Uh, maybe all of you don't have I I uh, will not get that access as um, what you usually see that on the administration and uh, the user who is working on administration or higher authority they have these uh, privileges that they have agency reports access so not every teacher can get that so uh, if you have access uh, you can generate a log report so to generate a log uh, detailed report of log report um, you will click on agency reports tab and um, after clicking on agency reports tab, um, you'll see agency wide reports section. There are so many um, reports type here. So you will click on report library view. You click on view beside report library. So this is a huge <coughs> library we have in our tab software. I'll click on view. Okay. So you see search report then report name report description input tag so in report name field you will type the module name for which you want to see the report for uh, so as we are showing you t-log today so um, we we'll type t-log here in report name so that we can see the reports related to t-log so after writing the report name you click on search button So you see, there are two kinds of report here: Tlog detailed report and Tlog with a status report. So um, you click on Tlog detailed report for now, and here is the detailed information of all the Tlog uh, will be there. So I'll click on Tlog detailed report. Uh, 
okay so after clicking on philo Kittle report uh, you have to give a date range uh, from date and to date from which date to when you want to um, see the report for so from date I will give as example as September 1 um, till today's date 25 October I want to see all the key logs uh, between September 1 to 25 October okay so um, I will click on continue button so here you go these are the reports and these are all the uh, key logs done in this time range so we have lots of key logs in our DMI account so here are all the key logs so what you will do is you click on export to Excel so that e, the, all the reports can be downloaded into Excel format file okay so here is ex export to Excel I will, I will go and click on that you see the report is automatically downloaded here as an Excel format so I will click on that um, report okay so this is the report um this is the excel file you will see all the key logs here in column by column here is a every column has an header for the specific column so uh, in excel there are some um features which might help you to um generate a um, um, report for um, for the specific individual. So you see there are as it is a key log detailed report. So everything is here like entire date, report date, notification level, individuals name, then ID, then every kinds of every types are there in this report. Uh, so if you um, maybe you don't need any specific column, so you can just go on and uh, hide or delete that specific column like um, maybe in your institution you don't maintain any individual medical number uh, so you can just go on and select that column and you can delete or hide that column so for now I'm hiding it so the column is gone and um, maybe I don't want to keep the column for form ID I don't want to keep that so I will select that specific column and I will hide it okay so this is how you can hide the columns or delete the columns if you don't need it okay so another thing is uh, there are all the individual key log here in this report so you will get the all the key log done for all the individuals in the specific provider so if you want to generate report uh, for only one individual maybe for Nilo Chudavi in my case I will select the individual first name column and in Excel you can uh, filter uh, filter the names filter all the columns uh, according to your need so I'll just um, I just want to see in uh, Nilo Chudavi's report uh, Nilo Chudavi's, all the key done for Nilo Chudavi's in last two months so I'll click that specific column now I'll click on data you see in data tab in Excel there is uh, some tabs above so you click on data tab so after uh, clicking on data tab you will see filter option here so for the specific uh, column I will now use filter option okay after clicking on filter so you see an arrow there so it is after clicking on filter option the arrow automatically comes up so I want to filter by name so I will click on the arrow option okay so um, these uh, all the names first names are selected here so all the key logs are uh, shown in this report that I generated but I want to see key logs for only Niloy so I will um, unselect all so now I will only select Niloy so so I will select uh, Niloy and, and I will click on OK button. So you see only Niloy's key logs are here. 
so the tlog we done for niloy actually there are two niloy uh, in your provided one is niloy sugar and one is niloy slum so uh, the first name is niloy so i filtered by niloy and then the, all the tlogs um, for niloy maybe these niloy sugar or, or other individual name is niloy slum so all the tlogs for them has shown up in the uh, report so if you want to um, do a CT logs based on one type of summary but uh, you want to see the T logs uh, for only the summary is drawing so you can click on that summary column then filter it and uh, filter that specific column and all the uh, now use drawing as filter option so just drawing yeah so for the last couple of uh, two months only one kilo has done which uh, which is which summary was drawing so yeah you can filter that uh, excel file based on your needs what you need so uh, there are some good features in excel so you can go on and download the file from download the excel report from uh, kilo um, agency reports tab and you can filter all the um, uh, filter here and uh, you can also the main thing is you can print out this um, excel file you can give it to parents that um, like if you want to give um, the this report to um, Nilo Chaudhary's parents so you will go uh, uh, you filter all the t logs down for Nilo uh, in this um, report and you can uh, hide the columns if you don't need that those so and you can also print out after deleting or after filtering all the um, uh, things you need and then you can uh, go on and print out this specific um, Excel file and give it to parents, give it to the this individual's parents. So that's how you can uh, utilize TXT log in Therap software and you can generate reports. So you can uh, see how the individuals have done for the last two months. You can know when you see the summary and the description, here is the T log content, this is, new, this is the description of that specific T log. So, by seeing the description, you can um, track his progress note through a T-log module. So that's how you can utilize T-log uh, module and uh, keep the notes or maintain a diary through T-log module. Uh, and you don't have to use any more diary or paper for um, keeping notes or keeping the contact information or keeping a diary. <coughs> so. Yeah, this is what Trilog is all about, and now and this is all about Trilog input generation. So, if you guys have any question, um, still you have any question, you can ask me. I'll try to answer that. You can click on um, hand icon and raise your question, or you can type uh, your um, question in the question box. I'll try to answer your question. Okay, if you don't have any question. Um, uh, I will uh, move on. So this is basically our today's topic of our view and report generation daily problem progress notes that you can um, do by our one of our Therap soft, uh, software most used module that is called T-Log module. So you can do that by our T-Log module. Okay. Uh, so um, if you uh, want to um, register for our upcoming um, webinars or upcoming live group sessions you can go to our website you can go to our website and there are you see in many but there is events you can click on events uh, so here are our upcoming events here so you'll see all our upcoming events in the list and for um, live view session if you want to register for our next live view session uh, you can uh, click on registration link link for the specific live view session and can join our upcoming live view sessions so our next live view session is demographic report overview in november 8 i hope you guys will uh, join that session too and um, and if you um miss our missed our live group session uh, you can also find it on our website in the live group session will be recorded and will be uploaded into our website you can go on to our live group session page 
and here the, here are our live group session recorded live group session so our live group session video will be uploaded in this page so you can also enjoy it later on if you need it so i hope you guys have enjoyed our today's live group session on on our beyond report generation of daily progress notes uh, so if you have any question um, or if you have any queries regarding turf software or uh, if you want to know anything else you can email us at support at tharabglobal.net or you can also contact us at our contact us page here is our contact us page you can go on and then click on contact um, and fill up the necessary fields here and type your message here what do you what do you want to know about Thrive software or any other thing you can just go on and type here and then submit it we'll get it and we'll try to uh, contact you soon so I hope you have enjoyed today's live session um, stay well um, goodbye for now